first touch with special correspondent Amanda Rykoff for the Football Girl. I'm here with Denver Broncos All-Pro linebacker Vaughn Miller. We're here at the Axe event in New York City, and we're going to talk some some style, some fashion, and some football. All right. You ready? Yes, All right. So later on tonight, you are going to have your goatee shave. Tell us why you're doing this. I mean, I'm here. You know, I'm at, excited to be, you know, be a part of the Axe team. You know. You know, I've been using X products for a long time, you know, for the body sprays until X first, which is the reason why we're doing it now. And uh, they came out with, they've come out with a whole line of products that, uh, you know, are, are um, best to meet any of your facial, you know, um, shaving needs. Not your shaving needs, of course. But Speaking of style, part of your look is your hipster glasses. You're known for this. Hipster. I like that. I like, I like that. Are they prescription or are they just for fashion purposes? They, they are extremely, they are for prescription. Of course, I can't see it at all. Oh my god, they are. I feel like Velma from Scooby-Doo right now. <laughs> we are getting this live on tape. I love it. Oh my god, yes, I can vouch. These are 100% prescription. I mean, you got a lot of guys. You got a lot of guys that, you know, that wear glasses. But that's just the way it is. You just wearing glasses, you know. You, it's, it's a select few that can really pull it off. So anybody can wear glasses, but you got to be able to pull it. How many pairs do you have? I had 32 before today, and now I just bought like 16 out here in New York. So I got like, you know, 48 pairs of, of glasses and shades. I got some prescription shades too, so they look, you know, pretty. They look like sunglasses, but they're really prescription glasses too. So I mean, I, I come at it at all different angles. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm serious about my shades and shoes. So okay. that was that was my my vices right there. Uh, it has been said that boys don't make passes at girls that wear glasses. What is your take on ladies who wear glasses? I mean, I, I love girls that wear glasses. I mean, I the whole I, I'm a geek, so. You know, the whole like, you know, fall in love, like a DT type, you know, type, you know, thing. I'm, you know, I'm all for that. Um, girls with glasses are attracted to me, smart, you know, intelligent women, that's always attractive. And um, I don't have a problem with, uh, you know, girls wearing glasses at all. <laughs> uh, let's move from fashion to football. Because mm -hmm. obviously we are here and you are just coming off of your second consecutive Pro Bowl appearance and All-Pro team. What is next for you in terms of uh, room for improvement? I mean, I just want to start to, to be the linebacker that the Denver Broncos brought me in to be, you know, especially with a guy like, you know, Ray Lewis, you know, leading the NFL. There's a lot of room for, you know, big time linebackers around the league to, you know, start to, you know, try to feel that point because nobody can, nobody can ever feel what Ray did, but somebody can try to be that guy around the league. Why not? Why not me? And why not the guys in the different backgrounds? So that's what I'm working to do. I'm working to, you know, accept that leadership role and start to, you know, mentor the young guys and show them that it's just football. Let's get it done. Speaking of the Broncos, this morning you made news. You tweeted out at around eight this morning mm -hmm. that you were predicting that the Broncos are going to win next year's Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Why exactly do you feel confident in that prediction? I mean, don't you feel the same way? I mean, it's, I mean, it's only like uh, it's only like you're right. I get it, you're right. You no, know, but I mean, if you go around the league and you ask, if you ask any, if you ask any guy, or any sport, you know, period, do you guys think you have a chance of, you know, winning a, you know, championship year? Of course, you know, guys are going to say yes. I actually, you know, feel it and I believe in it. It was actually, it wasn't motivated of, you know, of arrogance or, you know, cockiness. It was, it was motivated um, by, you know, fa some of my family members who had gotten their ink and, you know, one of the little guys that still, He's still having a tough time. He recently came out of a coma, and um, they were trying to, you know, get him to, you know, remember stuff and learn how to do stuff. And, you know, the one thing that he that he retained, the one thing that he remembered that he had a cousin that played for Denver Broncos, and his name was Von Miller. So, I mean, it's uh, it really puts a lot of perspective. And um, for me, that is my motivation. Why I can predict it now, and uh, I wanted to make that commitment to my teammates, to the guys around me. To Jeremiah, and uh, I'm willing to get it done. As long as we're making some predictions, who do you expect to see on the other side of the field out of the NFC next year in New York? The San Francisco 49ers. I mean, they have a, a tough team. You know, you know, the defense is stout. You know, out of some of these phenomenal over there. You know, Colin Kaepernick. You know, hopefully I can do that. You know, standing you know over him. You know, in New York next year. But you know, we have to see. You know, and um, 
Colin Kaepernick and the 49ers, those guys are great. They've, uh, you know, I'm sure they're going to make some home runs in the free agency in the draft. And maybe it'll be even a you know, tougher team. You know, uh, this uh, up, speaking yeah. of um, uh, people that are kind of up and coming in the league, you mentioned Kaepernick on the offensive mm -hmm. side. We're, we've got the draft coming up next, next month in New York. Yes, uh, there's been talk of Jarvis Jones out of Georgia being Von Miller-esque. Is there anyone that you've been seeing that is kind of a Von Miller-esque coming out next year? Yeah, I mean, Jarvis Jones is expected. He's great. Um, I think Demontre Moore from Texas A&M, he, he would be a, a beast in the league also. I mean, I'm a little bit biased, yeah. But Demontre, he's great. I mean, there's no other game film that, that looks like Demontre's. Um, you know, to get out the, the pass rusher you know, side of things, I think, uh, you know, Kenny Vaccaro and um, Tyron Matthew, whatever teams that those guys, I, I hope, you know, I get a chance to play with those guys in the Broncos. But. Uh, you're known for your your, your sacks and your post sack dances. What's your favorite one? <laughs> I mean, um, I like them all. You know, don't you like them all? I, mean, I, I like them all, but uh, you know, I have to be the uh, dance for my foundation, uh, one's vision. I actually uh, we came up with a sack dance that uh, that pays the foundation a thousand dollars every time I do it. It's the solo show, for, so that's why you guys saw me do it so many times. Can you demonstrate? It's just, it's just a crawl. It's just, a, it's just a crawl. Anybody can do it. You can do it too. It's, it's easy. It's easy. It's just like that. You just go side to side. That's it right there. <laughs> That's called the DeSoto Shelf Window. You know, I, I, I raised a little bit of money for my foundation, which is Buzz Vision. Um, we give back uh, free contacts, free glasses, free eye exams to underprivileged kids, and just kids who don't have glasses, and, and free LASIK surgery to young adults who, who can uh, who qualify for it. You know, LASIK surgery used to be super expensive, but now you can really make a difference in, in somebody's lives by, you know, giving them that excellent pair of eyes. And that's what my heart has always been. And, Signing off from New York with Von Miller from the Axe event for the thefootballgirl.com. It's Amanda Rykoff.